All right, so now we're going to work on the printer. We're going to take the lid off the printer here. Oh, it's just a suggestion. Just always remember, this print head moves around in here. It's loose. So, never just flip it over. And when you do flip it over, always flip it over so that the print head goes to the side slowly. See that? And never lay it on the tabs. They will, these tabs, they will break. Believe me, experience. So, there's seven screws on the bottom. They're pretty self-evident and obvious. Let me show you how you can do this. Yeah, I should do this. If you take your cord, which I got my cords right here, my power cord and my adapter cord. If you take and you put them right here, like that, you can use them to hold your printer up so that you don't break the tabs. Again, just be very careful doing that. Then you can just screws. There's eight holes, but one of them doesn't have a screw on the back side. So just move the seven screws. That's the one without. Or was it? Maybe I already got it. Or am I missing that screw? Hmm, I have to check. Some of the screws are just coming out with the screwdriver. There we go. Let's just get them out while we're going here. That's four, five, six, and there's one more floating in here. Oh, I must have not put all the screws in. Now I'm going to slowly turn it back over again. Again, remember that carriage head is flopping around. You don't want it to bounce around. Yeah, I was missing a screw. I'm going to have to chase down an extra screw out of my can of bolts. That noise, if you wonder what it was, that's my Keurig making me some tea. It looks like I got some hair in here. Cats. Now I'm going to chase down my power voltage. This one's going to be easier than the other ones it is because all the power is right here. And I'm going to put my LED out here so I'm going to be really... So, I'm going to turn the camera off like I've done before. Chase down my power voltage and then I'll turn it back on. Alright, I did some chasing down with my multimeter. And I have discovered, I got it plugged in and powered on right now. It's hard to see it. Uh, but in here, this connector inside here, the yellow wire, that connector, that yellow wire right there, is 5 volts. So I'm going to connect onto that one. I'm going to unhook that. Put a splice on there to get my some get some power off of there, and then ground is anywhere. I mean, I'll, I will show you now. Watch my multimeter. I got it set on DC. It's 10 volts. So if I get five volts, it'd be halfway up the screen. So this is obviously ground. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna touch the wire. See my multimeter? Five volts. So that's the one I want to use. Alright, I started thinking about it and instead of going into that deep into the wire in there, I thought, can I find myself some 5 volts up here? And I went inside and I just, I have my multimeter, I have it grounded in the back. And it's making water again. That's not another cup of tea. I'm actually using the cure to heat water up for a cup of soup. So, I got my multimeter hooked up here. And I started checking around and I found 5 volts right on this little shunt. Right there. 5 volts. And that'll be perfect. I have some other ideas too, but that for right now I'm going to do that one. And then I'm going to chase down some other stuff. So that's 5 volts right there. See that? 5 volts. So that's what I'm going to hook up to. Alright, so what I ended up doing is I ran my ground up to here because this is a solid ground and I had a nice solder point there. And then I ran my positive in there and soldered it in place. And then once the hot glue is up, I'm going to just throw a dab of hot glue on that to keep it in place. Then I got my excess wire out here which I will run through cracks and crevices up to the front where I'm going to put my LED. Alright, if you look down in there you can see where I put the hot glue. 
It hasn't dried yet. I just made sure nothing's touching anywhere. And we're good. Now, what I want to do is just test my wiring before I go hog wild and hook up everything. So what I'm going to do is strip that So what I've done is I stripped the wires clean there. I'm going to plug her in back here. Turn it on. You take my red's going to go to the red and my black's going to go to the gray one. And I should have, if done right, I should have five volts. And I don't. So something is not up oh, there. It is. I must not have had a good touch. That's weird. Must have had a bad connection there. There we go. There we go. Here's my five volts. Yeah, you can't see it. So let me just just so you don't think I'm like making things up. Here's my five volts. Five volts. Good. Alright, so now I got my parts ready to do some soldering. Let's get some clear spot to work with. Make sure I can get to my wire. Alright. I got my 330 ohm resistor. I got my LED. My soldering iron is warming up. Now, just like on the other ones, my resistor is going to go to the rounded side. And so I'm going to need to just twist this one on there then I'll remove the excess and then my positive which is the red wire is going to go to the other side of the resistor right here <laughs> you know twist these wires first and take that right there to the other side of the resistor, like so. Now I just got to solder those. And this one I'm going to be, twist those wires. My ground goes to that side. All right, just as I'm about ready to do that, my battery died. So I'll put a new battery in and we go again. I got it all wired up here and twisted. Now I'm just going to stay there. Use my soldering iron, my flux, and my solder, which just attach everything up good. All right, everything's all wired up. I'm just going to clip off the excess, take my little clippers and clip off the excess. Alright, and just to verify everything works. I'm going to do it off camera. I don't want you to see it until I do the reveal. But let me just plug her in and turn it on. And yeah, she works the way I want to work. Good. All right, so now I'm going to isolate these wires so that we don't get any kind of shorting and then mount it and go from there. All right, what I've done to isolate the wires is I took some black tape and I wrapped it around one side. And then after that was completely covered, I went around the other side. Now, that's not my hair. I'm going to finish it. And I'm going to take some shrink wrap or shrink tube, put over the whole setting or whole system or whole thing, I should say. Just get the right word out there, Millie. Get it down about there. Take my little barbecue starter. Become a pyromaniac. And shrink the tubing down. 
to hold in place. Yeah, good enough. All right, now I'm going to drill a hole using my rotary Dremel tool thingy. Yeah, just about right here. Because, well, let's see. How do I want to clip it in place? I got a lot of room to work with here. I'm just going to put it right there, and then I'm going to just hot glue it. So, take my tool. Find where I want to put it. Right about there is good shape. I think it's the deburring tool. I'm not drilling as much as I'm wearing. I'm wearing. I reckon this one's cracking it. Yeah, that's not the cleanest of holes there, Millie, but it worked. Now I'm going to take my other tools, the screwdriver, try to pick some of that up that didn't work too well. Now I'll take my utility knife, and I'll just run around the outside just to clean up the excess. Now that I got that, now I need to, I stake my cable down below so it doesn't get anywhere near the area. Now I need to mount it. I can bend this wire there. There's a, I gotta watch, oh, let me see something here before I go too far. I'm just making sure I don't hit on that. I'm going to bend these. There. So they didn't go anywhere near it. That's where I want to put that. I if I did this. Right there. That's where I want to go. Right, so that's where I want to go. Let me grab my hot glue and then we'll do it. While I'm waiting for the hot glue to warm up, I noticed my type head or print head or daisy wheel is disintegrating on me. I've got others. I'll replace it. As I said, I have others. Lots of them. Uh, which one do I want to put in there? I got a couple loose ones. What are these loose ones? Are these the Pika that came off of it? That's a Courier 72. That's a Pika 10. Okay, Pika 10, what came off of it? I'll put a Pika 10 back on it. Get it behind there and what do you want to line up? Over here. All right, so there we go. See how it goes behind the ribbon? Let me bring you. Let me bring it over here so it's right in the center of the screen. See how it goes behind the ribbon? And there's a little notch that goes in. And if you're curious, how do you open it up? There's two little fingers right on the side here. You just push them in, and it rotates back. All right, so I applied the hot glue. Now I'm just going to let it dry, or cool, I should say. I'll put some up here just so it wouldn't pull out and I'll put it down here so it won't, so it stays in one place. And again, don't be like, hot glue, really? Remember, the Coleco loved the hot glue. It's everywhere. So I'm just following the tradition of Coleco. All right, now the hot glue is sufficiently dried. I'll put the cover back on it and then I'll give it a test. All right.
Alright, so now I'm going to show you, with some dramatic lighting, how it looks after I did all of those. It's like they belong there, doesn't it? Looks like they belong there. So, the first step in pimping my atom. 